Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and it's been a little while since I've made a video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about two things. I talk about bicycling, and I'm going to talk about drawing. And since there's really not very good visuals to go along with this, I've recorded a quick still life painting, so you can watch me do a little sketching while I talk. And I should warn you, this is not in real time. The clip is playing back faster than I originally drew it, and uh, I don't want that to be misleading. So first, about bicycling. I never have been into exercise. I never really played sports, but I realized that I needed to get in shape. And so I decided that I was going to ride the bicycle, although it would probably be a chore. And at the time, people told me, it may feel like a chore now, but once you get used to doing it every day, if you can't, you're going to miss it. And sure enough, for about a year, I've been riding the bicycle. And for this last month, I haven't been able to do much of anything, including riding a bicycle. And I've noticed. Now, at first, it just felt like a chore. For the first days, weeks, even months, it wasn't really that fun. It felt just like lots of work. But then... Over time, something changed, and I didn't even notice it. But now that it's gone, I'm very aware of its absence. And if I had to guess, I would tell you that drawing might be that way for you. If you're just starting out, drawing is hard work. And it's never going to be easy, but it will get more fun. And just like the bicycling, here I'm the one telling you it's going to be better. And you're saying, no, I don't believe that. It's hard, I never get the results I want, and I really don't see that changing. Well, if you get in the habit of making drawing just part of your day, maybe it's not always making nice, developed paintings. Maybe just doing a little sketching. Keep a physical sketchbook, that sort of thing. But once it becomes part of your routine, it'll stay that way for life. And then if you go on a trip and all of a sudden can't draw for some reason you'll miss it. And this is one of the real secrets of getting better at art, is just making it part of your day. Now don't get me wrong, I haven't always drawn every day. Only since college have I really buckled down and decided to make art a part of my daily routine. And I've noticed some serious changes since then. And of course, I have the luxury of a job which pays me to draw. So not everyone's going to have that kind of free time to spend 7-8 hours a day drawing. But everybody has an hour. You can take time out of your day and do something that's really important to you. And if you want those results, making it a habit like that is probably the best way to get it. And the best part about all this is that it becomes really fun and relaxing. Now I should warn you, there is a flip side to this whole equation. As I said, I've essentially had a month of downtime. No drawing, no bicycling. Well, I've made backwards progress. In the same way that you can make lots of forwards progress by having this great part of your routine, once you stop doing it, you lose muscle mass. Or in the case of drawing, you actually get a little bit rusty. So if you maybe have taken a few years off of drawing and you remember what you used to be able to do, if you pick up the sketchbook again, you probably won't be able to draw that well. So another incredibly important part of all this is that it does require upkeep. But with a little bit of effort, you can make it part of your schedule and just stick with it. So I'd love to hear in the comments how you guys have made drawing or painting part of your day. Because we're all really busy. So if you guys can let us in on some great little tricks for how you work it into your schedule, I'm sure we'll all benefit. Thanks for watching, guys.